Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from deep inside a strip mine in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode, we went on a hunt for diamonds and found this sweet ass portal gun in a dungeon chest. And in this episode, my friends, we are going to continue our hunt for diamonds because we want to make a second quarry in the cyber labs and double the output of the cyber labs and, you know, just get as much freaking iron as we possibly can so that we can make the rain star and start sucking this freaking thing this planet dry of resources so sit back and relax cyber diggity dogs we are on the hunt for diamonds and guess what i found a few over here i went a stripping that's right guys i've been stripping for some time now and i i literally just dug a, a strip mine from the giant ravine where i left you in the previous episode just went all the way this way and guess what i found i found some diamonds some diamonds right over here baby and then i went in this direction because where there is one diamond there is more hoping to find some more and guess what guys there are a few more diamonds in that direction so we are on to finding a few diamonds already but we need 10 freaking diamonds if we want to actually uh, achieve our goals so that is pretty freaking cray cray if you ask me and it looks like we're gonna have to drop off some stuff over here to actually hold these diamonds um what do we actually not need copper copper get out of my freaking life we do not want you up in here but uh we got three diamonds out of that little stack over there not quite good enough but there are a couple more diamonds in this direction guys check what i found um basically i was i was following the map right and i saw this giant sort of ravine network over here and i don't think that we have explored it yet so um let's get our buttholes up here i'm pretty sure there's got to be a few more than just two diamonds up in here oh the skeletons are having a war <laughs> He's like, take it, butthole. No, you take it. No, you take it. D oh, <laughs> then they turned on me. What the jazz? What is going on there, man? Damn, that is that is some weird skeleton action going on over there, man. Just, just, just want to get some taters up in my belly. Stop fighting each other, man. What is wrong with you guys? Jeez. It's like feuding brothers or something, man. Ridiculous. Oh, by the way, guys, I've also managed to pick up uh, quite a lot of uranium, as you can see, quite oddly. And I've also picked up some ferrous ore and some tungsten ore, which I, I think are pretty rare, considering we never find them. So I'm, I'm just sort of holding on to the really rare ores that we find. Where did that come from? Let's have a look. Okay, two diamonds. But there is another, there is another freaking bowman around here somewhere, man. He has got my name written all over his freaking arrows. And I'm not happy about that. Charge! Freedom! Huh? Man, that is one sneaky ass skeleton. Damn, son! Oh! Ooh, man. It, the portal gun makes such an awesome noise, but it, it literally does scare the jazz out of me sometimes. Um, it's really loud in my headphones. It's like... <laughs> that sounds like a nether portal temple. <laughs> this is lead ore, by the way. And I, I don't know if we want lead ore. We have so much freaking lead in the cyber labs. It's ridiculous. What is this? Oh, this is that ferris ore stuff. Definitely collecting that jazz. And obviously, whenever we see urn, we've got to pick that up, man. Because this is urn ore, right? So we can stick that ore in the, the macerator and actually double up on that, which is, you know, really sweet, obviously. Um, is, this, is this iron? I don't think it's iron, but it's something we're collecting. So get in my freaking belly. And these are rubies, and you know, these are awesome, man. These are like our staple item. We use this to make pickaxes, to make spades, to make basically all of our tools. So, um, always happy to find some freaking rubies up in this jazz. Um, but man, I'm so freaking happy that we got this portal gun, dudes. I, I am so, so happy. I I'm, I'm still need to learn how to use it properly, though. Use it optimally, you know. Um, it's obviously a really powerful item. And that's why it's so freaking expensive to actually build. We looked at the, the recipe in the previous video. And it is, it is literally ridiculous what you need to make a, a, <laughs> a portal gun. It's, it's absurd. Um, and we, we are probably about 50 episodes away from actually having the correct resources to make a portal gun for reals. So we got ridiculously lucky in that chest. And it is awesome. I guess what a portal uh, gun means is that you don't have to make bridges and stuff anymore. So if you have like a, a chunk of lava like this, for example. Um, what is that? 
Oh, that's a bat. <laughs> or, or water like this, right? That's going to be quite tricky to get over. You don't actually need to worry anymore because all you all you can do is you take the portal gun, make a portal, make a portal, bam! Just avoided having to try and like swim my ass through this this uh, waterfall over here, which is awesome. Um, can mobs go in in portals? That's my question. What's up, dude? Say hello to my red little friend. And it's got your name on it. Actually, it doesn't have your name on it. It's got your freaking butthole on it. Or the name of your butthole, anyway. <laughs> I wonder how many people name their buttholes. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say a lot. Humans are weird. <laughs> um, okay, so we actually don't have enough space for this urn, unfortunately. Um, okay, well, we're just gonna have to take the hit and leave it behind. What's up, dude? Um, okay, sweet. Well, I mean, what we could do is just use this pickaxe until it's broken, right? And then, uh, and just break it, and then we can come and collect the urn. And there is another ruby. Sweet. I like it. Now, is there anything through there? No. Let's just check the map. Okay, so we are sort of in a giant-ass ravine over here. And that ravine sort of goes around the corner, and then, um... And then sort of like does a little loop thing so let's just follow this ravine running out of torches though which is starting to worry me slightly but i mean we are so freaking close to being able to make a second quarry we actually only need four more diamonds because we have one diamond in the storage warehouse um we actually just need four more diamonds i could be wrong though i, I counted in the recipe that we need 10 diamonds i'm pretty sure we do because we have to make those uh those um diamond gears and that costs that costs four diamonds a piece, right? Um, and we have to make two of them, I think. And then we have to make um, the mining drill, and that takes more diamonds. Although I, I, I have the suspicion we might be able to use um, some brain not working because under siege. <laughs> I have a feeling we may, might may be able to use some rubies to achieve that that goal. So. We need eight to ten diamonds, basically. What's up, baddie? What's cracking? Oh, spider! I hear you jiggling ass, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna own you. Oh, you bastard! Come at me! Oh, and it's a cave spider, no less. Uh, not cool. What's up, dude? Bam! Ooh, there's some gold. Oh, hello. Take it. Um, I, you know what? I'm actually just gonna throw this pickaxe away, man. Screw it. Oh wait, I've got a bone in my inventory. Sweet. <laughs> okay, let's let's go pick up all of this iron ore that we uh, failed to collect. Oh, no, we do actually have to make a space. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I'm such a new bottle. All right, creeper. You and me are about to dance. The dance of death. And I won. Although, yeah, dancing isn't really a competition. Hey, what's up, dude? You shouldn't be so sad, man. Life's not so bad. Are those diamonds? Are those freaking diamonds? What is that? Oh, it's just that... Oh, what? That was weird. Man, just glitched. <laughs> um, it's that weird, like, blue... Blue, uh, blue, red, white, yellow, green stuff that I don't use for anything. And I have no idea what it does. Um... Although I have I have a suspicion it's probably pretty good, um, but this 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 we want I think, yeah this this we want. So get in my belly, mm. Mm. man that went straight down my mouth. You know when you catch peanuts, chuck them up in the air and catch them with your mouth. I just caught a piece of tungsten. That's how I roll, bro. <laughs> Um, okay. Ooh, another giant ravine. That's good. Okay, I am smelling diamonds. What are you gonna do? You're gonna hit me with that freaking bone. You're gonna hit me with the bone of your buddy. That, dude. Dude. Not cool. Okay, there is a spider spawner around here. And that, that is not cool. And if we look through this glitched out area over here, we actually see... Hmm. See a whole bunch of jazz down there. But I've spotted some gold. Gold is so good, man. Gold makes, like, gold conductive pipes and circuitry and ridiculous amounts of advanced machinery that um, we actually haven't even started to make yet. So the more gold I can get now, the better, I think. 
and of course the more i mean you know always good to get some urn if we can go back to the cyber labs with like five stacks of urn we'll be able to double that and that is going to make a ridiculous amount of iron blocks oh god i looked at him i looked at him I i'm gonna have to battle i'm gonna have to battle i'm gonna have to battle dude back up son can you not see that i'm busy battling an enderman he gave me his eyeball though that's good Doggy, that was some stressful jazz, man. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I want this ender pearl. Um, what are we gonna drop? Oh god, it's just we just need everything. The steel chest plate is so cool. I don't want to drop the steel chest plate. We need all of this red stone. No, 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 dude, 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 dude. dude. Back up, son. Um, I want that ender pearl. I think I'm gonna drop some redstone. That's what I'm gonna do. We'll get more redstone in the in the second quarry. So that's, you know, that's what I'm thinking. What the jazz? Pick it up! Hello? Oh. Zombie brain. <laughs> that doesn't have a texture. Oh man, I wish I could see a zombie brain. Man, we're on level 24. But this is just not gonna fly. And these spiders, oh my goodness gracious. We are under siege from all angles. Take it, buttholes. I actually need to get out of this zone really quick. This is a danger zone up in here, man. Spiders falling from the heavens. Creepers. Zombies. Get away from me! Woo. Okay. Okay. Not using my portal gun effectively. Um, but that's okay. We're on level 21 though, man. This is way too high. There are going to be no freaking diamonds up here, man. We need to get our buttholes down. Down to level 10. It's, it's... I think level 10 is the correct level. I mean, everybody has their own opinion, right? Oh, another dungeon! Sweet! This is awesome! Oh, man. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find something epic in here. Oh, man. I love freaking... I can't believe I haven't been doing more caving and Feed the Beast. I mean, I'm an idiot. How awesome is caving and Feed the Beast? Damn, son. It is insane. You get so much awesome jets. Um... Let's just collect this urn ore and, uh, dear lord, I know you, it's been a long time since you heard from my ass, but I'm asking you, nay, I am begging you, give me something sweet. Kablam! Ooh, some sapphires, some bread, some silver ingots. Um, well, don't want any of that, actually. And, uh, ooh, another enchanted book, Bane of the Arthropods, that's terrible. Definitely don't want that. Oh, by the way, I want to I want to test something, guys. Some of you guys were saying in the previous in the comment section of the previous video that I can actually move blocks if I press G. So I'm gonna press G on this mob spawner, and if we can move mob spawners, those two mob spawners that we found over there uh, in the double dungeon spawner for the win, we are gonna take them up to the cyber labs and make an, a sweet ass mob spawner. Um, okay, I'm gonna press G. Bam! Oh my! Oh my goodness! I can actually. I can actually pick up a mob spawner. That is absolutely insane, people. That is amazing. Okay, uh, how do you put it down again? G? Oh! No, that was a bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. I'm actually going to uh, waypoint this location also, so that uh, now we will actually get two, uh, three mob spawners in our mob spawner um, XP farm thingy. Um, so that is, that is awesome. Uh, how do we do this again? Oops. Just, just press all the buttons, Rain Dog. Just press them all, like, like a new. Um, another dungeon for the win. Sweet. Okay, that is epic. So now that we have the portal gun, we now have a, a grand total of three mob spawners that we can use for a mob spawner, uh, a mob spawning machine. That is freaking sweet, man. Just bypass this lava. Ha, <laughs> lava! How do you like them apples? You thought you were gonna burn my ass? And you failed. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, well, we have six torches left, people. So, um, you know, things are looking grim with regards to finding more diamonds. Um, hmm. I mean, we've got five. We've got five, and the quarry is getting down to diamond level. So maybe, maybe the quarry will be able to deliver more diamonds for us. Deliver the last th remaining three diamonds. We actually only need... What, three more new diamonds? If you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Alright, I think there's no better time than now 
than to go downwards. So let's just choose a random direction and go down to level freaking 10. 16, 15, 14. I know I'm not supposed to be doing this, but we have a jetpack, so we're fine. 10. Okay, sweet. Level 10. And let's just start a stripping. That's what I do best, man. Stripping. <laughs> oh, man. Hope my I hope my mama doesn't watch this episode. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, guys, I'm going to kick this puppy into fast forward mode. And if we actually do stumble across some diamonds, I'm going to bring you back on the other side of this complaint. And I think what I'm going to do is, like, uh, you know, try and, and only use a couple torches at a time. But, guys, I will see you once we find some bling bling. Kapow! We are back and look what we have found some shiny bling bling. Oh, there's one. There's two Come on, baby. Come on. There's got to be more than that. Come on two only two diamonds. Come on Where is freaking claw when you need her man? Seriously Any oh, yes, it's a job. Oh, this is epic. It's a giant ass cache of diamond goodness This is at least four diamonds At least Oh, epic. That is, I mean, this is literally exactly the amount we, that we need. So that is awesome. Sweet. Ooh, and some, oh, and some of these things. And some iron. Damn, son, this is like the mother load. Get in my belly. Mmm. Green, blue, and brown. That sounds like a, a perfect roast chicken dinner. <laughs> All right, let's get these diamonds in our belly. And that takes us up to eight diamonds. Oh, oh goodness gracious. We need, we basically need two more. <laughs> no, we almost, we, actually we only need one more, man. Oh, seriously, are there no more diamonds around here? Oh, that, that makes me a sad freaking panda, man. That makes me a sad panda. Well, the last time I found diamonds, I went in the opposite direction, directly in the opposite direction. So let's see if that, maybe that yields us some similar results in, in this exercise. But guys, I don't know, man. I don't think we're going to find another diamond, but I have a feeling that the quarry, now that it's getting to diamond level, is, you know, hopefully going to find at least one diamond, at least. And that means we'll be able to fire up um, a second diamond. But guys, it looks like we are kind of out of torches, and that means um, our luck has freaking run out, man. Well, not necessarily our luck, but our, our light has run out. And uh, as, as fun as it is running back to fetch the torch every uh, 20 blocks or so, <laughs> it's also kind of painful. So maybe what we should do is just call this mining, epi uh, this mining expedition a day and try and get our buttholes back to the Cyberlands without dying. All we got to do is, is get to the surface, right? And then we can easily try and find our way back to the original spawn cave. And that should take us back. Well, as soon as we find the spawn cave, we're, we're good. Um, but let's just... I, I, oh God, it, it's like diamond, it's like diamond fever, man. It's kicking in. I can feel it. I can feel them. I can smell them. They are here somewhere. And I just lost my torch. And there it is. Look, there's a little cave there on... Look at that, man. Look at that. There is a juicy ass little cave over here. And that is beckoning to me. It is calling my, my name. It's a grand dog. There's going to be diamonds in here. Come and see. And every time I see this stuff... I always think it's diamonds. Makes me crazy angry, man, because it never is diamonds. Okay, this cave looks like it's much higher than, than where we are. And did we just lose our last pickaxe? Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's not good. Do we have any wood? No, we don't have any wood. Um, 
And now we don't have a pickaxe. So that's awkward. 